Hans dulu you. Yep. So that happened. <laughs> Okay guys, first of all, let me introduce to you guys my one and only girlfriend. Yes guys, I've been trying to scare her to death but it doesn't work till today, that's why we're still together. Uh, I'll give her a heart attack one of these days, no worries. So it all happened last year December, I went for a date with my girlfriend to Christmas Wonderland. Then got this one manko go propose in front of everyone. Very good! Ah, bagus! Hen how? You spoil market, I tell you! Because of that, ah, my girlfriend looked me in the eye and said, Hey B, later on my turn, how you want to propose to me? Ah? Then she laughed. Then you know what she said? She said, oh but it's you, you're not sweet, you're not romantic. Well, she's not wrong lah. So because of that lah, I'm like challenge accepted. Ah, kan? Ah, so I gather all my boys, my army, my UXM boys. Now they all men already, so they all old already. So my UXM men, we come down, we gather, we think, we plan, sweet, sweet one. So that's when everything happened lah. So this is how the proposal planning goes. So I plan to propose to her on 15th of March, which is her birthday. But I need to find a way for her to follow me to Sentosa without asking why. So I came up with this idea whereby I told her we are making videos for a client, and the client requires us to go around certain place in which I don't even know what's the activity gonna be. So I told her it was like amazing race kind of format. Okay, so for this plan to succeed, right, I need four videographers in total. One main camera will be run by Rizal. He will be the main camera that will follow me around, pretending that he's the main camera for the game show lah. Three more videographers will be Fizwa Naziz, Hafiz Aziz, and Nazri. So the thing is, uh, they are around Sentosa, wearing disguise, so they won't be detected by Alina. So that's why they go undercover and to get each and every angle, which is perfect. Okay, yeah, but first we have to get everything ready, right? So me and my boys went for Reiki, not once but twice, to make sure that it's perfectly scheduled. Secondly, uh, we have to get the envelope ready, so uh, it looks very realistic that it's actually an amazing race. And there's actually a hidden message inside each and every envelope. Uh, we came up with a catchy phrase on how and where we should go next and things like that. It was awesome, it was fantastic. Shout out to everyone that helped me with it. And also the Will You Marry Me signboard, which is one of the most expensive thing I ever spent on. <laughs> Who would have thought I would spend so much money on papers? But it was awesome, it was worth it. <laughs> well worth it. <laughs> okay, then I Fly Singapore actually emailed me. They are the MVP of everything, I tell you guys. Like, they emailed me and sent me a video of how I should propose inside the I Fly tunnel, in which it was perfect. When I see that video, I'm like, hey, buy it, gila, pe. So I'm like, okay, I want to do this. Then they say, you want it, can. But you have to come down for practice. So I went down to iFly Singapore uh, the day before my proposal and yep, I, 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 I did my practice. Hi guys, so now I'm at iFly Singapore and I'm required to go for training here because tomorrow I'm going to propose, right? So they mentioned to me that it's not easy to actually kneel down inside the tunnel. They say it will take about a month of practice in order for me to do this inside of the tunnel. But I know I'm very talented and I'm very last minute. <laughs> so I don't have enough time. So hopefully everything goes well. So this is my first time doing this. To be honest, I'm quite confident. Because like, look at all my hobby. Ah. It's all like, you know, extreme sports and things like that. So I think this one will not be as simple and will not be as hard to me. So let's do that. I'm very confident. Here we go. So when I reach there, suddenly ah, my heart like pumping at it. Then I'm like, oh, this is different. Eh. This just seems a bit tough. Eh. So then, then I, I spoke to their sweet, sweet manager. So like, he's the one that actually calmed me down. To be honest, I was very nervous that day. So he spoke to me on what to do and what not to do, uh, the tips and tricks, and I got his blessing. Then he said to me this one thing. Like what I told you early on, uh, yeah. okay, so we're going to do something like this. First is to let you understand the wind. Yeah. Okay, let you have a couple, one or two flights to experience, and then see whether it's easy to control to gain that flying experience first. All right. And then after that, we will follow by walking on the net. Okay. So that this is going to prepare you kneeling down in the net with wind. This is yeah. the original plan that um, you are looking at. Yes, which is yes, what you yes. see from our advertising video. Yes. Now, option two is also like what I said earlier on. That is to go outside the door where mm. you are in full control. Yeah. Where there's total no, no wind. Yeah. And then you just place your camera angle 
so that you can capture both, both of you. Right. Your girls is no issue, you can actually face away and then yeah. when you turn back facing you while you're kneeling down on the floor, yeah. the effect is Okay. I mean, I'm a first timer, right? And I know it's not easy at all. Like I'm actually learning a lot by whatever he just mentioned to me just now. I was surprised. I thought it's just a simple floating thingy. But then there's a lot to consider like the weight and the, the wheel. It's simple if you're just flying for fun. Yeah. But now you're doing the <laughs> pose. Because in flying, there's actually four skill levels that you need to achieve. So the first skill is belly flying, which is what all first time we have to go through. Okay. And then the second stage is back. Mm -hmm. The third stage is sit. And then the last stage is head down. Head down? Okay, inverted. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we're looking for hey, mind right, shelter. Uh... Honestly, it's a bit intense. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, from 50% confident, right? No, I'm at like 10%. <laughs> oh, you got 15 minutes. So if I'm, I'm good, then I can do whatever I plan to do. Lah. But if not, then I'll just stand by the door. Then camera crew can be from behind and take the angle. Bar. So I'll just be kneeling down by the door. So hopefully, I got this guy. One, two, three, shuffle. You ready? One, two, three, shuffle. You're not enthusiast, man. <laughs> what, what's <laughs> what's happening? Come on, man. I was just thinking, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what, what were you thinking? Were you, were you doubting me? No, I was thinking about how we're going I to do that and then how we're going to stand. You. Okay. Where are we going to hold the banners? That, that side, bro. Okay, we will. We, we are going to propose here. Wa. She will be looking behind you. Come so, there is you standing come. outside. Yeah, let me just stay here. <laughs> okay, 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 you know what? Okay, Yo, I, okay, I was through this. I will make sure I get it done so we can do up to how we imagine it to be. Okay, guys, Shafi on three. Shafi can do it on three. Ready? One, two, three. Shafi can do it. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we've all said and done, I'm finally ready. Okay guys, D-Day, the day has finally arrived. The day of my proposal is 9am, I remember it clearly. I'm about to meet my girlfriend at 9.30am. I text her, I call her, I call her again, I call her mother. She was asleep. She didn't wake up bro, I tell you, alama. this is pagi-pagi, early in the morning, I stress already. Wow, you know what I did? Early in the morning, she made me run, do my 2.4 to her house, knock on her door. Thank God her mother is home. Uh, she finally woke up, so we are one hour late for everything. Uh, in which thanks to St. Joseph uh, for being cool, like shifting the time for one hour. Yeah, don't blame me, blame my girlfriend. <laughs> Our first objective is to go to Favor Peak. Yes, we took a cable car from Favor Peak, in which I would recommend all of you to take the cable car from Favor Peak to St. Tosa. To be honest, it's like a 15 minutes journey and the view is awesome. You are up high in the sky, all the ship, all the crews, the view there is fantastic. Nothing like it. You guys should really experience it for yourself. Please try to take the cable car from Favor Peak to St. Tosa. It's a whole different feeling. I promise you, a whole different experience that you guys have to try it yourself. It was fantastic, the one and only. Okay, so then we finally reached to Sentosa. Our first destination that we are about to go is called Sentosa. Yes, guys, Sentosa. So Sentosa is actually a perfume workshop where you can customize your own perfume. Yeah, so this is why I choose to go Sentosa because like it's a day that I want Alina to remember. So we actually custom made our own perfume and we can always remember the day by the sense of smell. Every time when she wear that perfume, she's like, eh, hey, all of my proposal day. Ah, so like that. So that's why I really want to go to Sentosa. Like they have over 60 different type of perfume that you guys can mix 
and match to your own liking with your personality test like you guys have to go through your personality test first in order for you guys to further evaluate what kind of perfume smell that they recommend you will definitely find the smell that you love because there's a lot of choices that like i'm wearing it now power okay so then next we move on to aj hacker guys aj hacker is really something you guys should go okay so aj hacker is an experience that like you feel like you're free falling but everything go okz and like people like me right to be honest like i'm always confident never have i ever have fear for heights so when i'm like up there i'm like oh i'm ready for this i'm ready for this then when they strap me on i go up i'm like eh tinggi ba I couldn't believe it that I'm scared. I mean, you guys should just take a look at the video. You guys can see from this video. Look at my face. This is a man full of fear. Actually, yeah, when we were up there, like I chose my job, right? I'm like, okay, never I'll hold the camera, I'll not be the one pulling the trigger, so we fought. Okay, so when we were up there, actually, we stayed there for about uh, five minutes, right? because Alina is scared to pull the trigger. So finally, she had the courage to pull that trigger without any warning. So this is the face. So as you guys can see from the reaction that I have, like, yeah, it's actually an experience you guys should really try. Like, I know I keep on saying all this because it's true, guys. There's no more words for me to express the feeling that I had when I was up there. So when I got down, right, guys, I know I left something up there my dignity <laughs> so then we move on to our next destination which is the head rock vr virtual reality like guys this is something else this is my first time trying vr so head rock vr have a lot of options to choose from to be honest with you guys there's a lot of zone and there's also a three type of zone and all of the things there right, you guys should try it for yourself like it felt so real like to be honest i even felt a bit giddy like like it's only a vr you know vr just, just put there but kurang rasa macam woohoohoo you know like to the point where you felt the g-force and you're not even supposed to you know like it felt super real so me and my girlfriend we are a bit competitive towards each other so we uh, do a bit of the challenging thingy and a lot of shooting thingy and it was a perfect date for each and everyone like you guys should really try it out me and my boys love it like each and every one of us get to try and hit rock vr i would like to thank you guys for this experience it was so fresh it was so out of the box kind of thing like you guys should really try it okay guys then now we are down to our final destination the place that i'm going to propose to her wow and i fly singapore with all the sudden guys i felt super duper duper nervous dude to be honest i'm Freaking nervous, bro. Like, kau, 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 kau rasa? It's like so fast, dude. What? I don't get nervous, bro. Man. I'm super nervous like, to the point that I feel like I'm sick. To the point that I feel like I want to pee and I feel like vomiting. Like, to be honest, I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm hungry and everything. So, I really don't know what's about to happen. To the point I'm now, I'm overthinking like yesterday. Like, can I actually walk on it? Can I not? You know, and things like that. So, I really am not so sure what's going to happen. But hope for the best. I don't, I don't even know why I'm feeling so, so, so nervous. Ah, hopefully everything goes well. Let's go. To be honest, like, wow, the feeling is so real. Like, all the time I've been waiting for, the moment has come, right, for me to propose to her. And again, I would like to thank iFly Singapore for helping me out with these big requests. Like, they even gave us a room where all my friends can actually wait there until the surprise happened. Dude, I can't even express myself. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm going to cry now, you know, talking about it. Okay, so there, there I was at iFly Singapore. They pretend not to know anything and proceed with the training as per normal. So yeah, we went down for the training, watched some safety videos in which very important. The instructor go through all the safety measurements, hand signals that they gave us so we know what to do when they do certain signals towards us. So the instructors were ready. I'm not ready for it to be honest guys like I'm super duper nervous so there I was putting out all my suit and my girlfriend putting out all her suit she was super duper excited 
I'm excited and nervous at the same time. So we went in the tunnel. It's where everything goes down. So what happened was iFly Singapore actually told me that I'm going to fly three rounds, right? The first one is a normal one. Second one is a normal one. The third one, the instructor is going to fly my girlfriend up, right? Then the small television there, they will put, will you marry me? And that's where I walk in and propose to her. Then it happened. This is it, this is it, this is it. And then I finally kneel down and I look at her with that ring in my hand. The face that she gave to me, something that I've never seen before in 10 years of knowing her. The smile she gave me, I feel like, ah, ah, wow. And she said, yes. And I fly Singapore told me, Shafi, there will be fireworks later at 7.58 so why don't you propose to her second time? So then I'm like, yeah, 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 I should do that because I understand that inside the tunnel there was a lot of things going on and it would be too overwhelming for her to even like soak in everything. Even for me, it was too overwhelming to the point that I know I have to do it second time. So they actually told me, okay, Shafi, the time now, you got five more minutes, get out there and propose to her again with the beautiful fireworks behind. So I went out there with all my friends gathering for the real moment where I proposed to her second time and she said yes for the second time like oh my goodness guys like it was the best feeling i ever had in my life feeling i never thought that proposing would be so much emotion running around you know like even for me because i'm like the you know the, the slumber kind but wow guys it was so 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 wonderful it couldn't be better than that that was the perfect moment for everything with all my friends there and wow, it was so overwhelming guys. It was super duper a lot to soak in for a night. <laughs> Finally, we bring her to the room, right? And uh, let her read the last, last, last envelope. Congratulations, you have won yourself an awesome yet incredible macho fiancé. Yeah. Please tear this paper off as you won't see it coming. Dear Alina, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Me. <laughs> yes. Lagi sekali ya. She tore it down. It says, Dear Alina. Will you marry me? And she said yes again for the third time. So then I start I propose to her three times one night. <laughs> That's how much I love her, you know. Okay, guys, I would like to thank Singapore Cable Car, Sentosa, AJ Hacker, Hit Rock VR, the one and only 
I Fly Singapore. Thank you so much for this opportunity, guys. I cannot thank you guys more. And this is more than success. This is more than what I can imagine my proposal to be. And thank you so much, Halo Love and Sentosa. Ah, I feel like crying. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm a man. I'm a man. Of course, thank you to all my UXM guys. Alina's friend that's watching this. Thank you so much for coming down. All my friends that came down to celebrate this moment with me, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And hopefully, we'll move forward together. And we'll see you again next time on Shafi Vlog.